All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the M Crater build series. Now, I have a little bit of stuff that I just basically worked on just in the few seconds. Uh, hopefully, the lighting's a little bit easier to see now. I did increase the, the gamma for the actual build. So, right now, it's actually really dark, but like it was before in the last uh, couple videos, but it should be a little bit easier to see now that I increased the gamma. So a couple changes that I worked on was I did some stuff with the the vines. I moved them over to the sides and stuff just so it's a little bit more out of the way. And then I increased the difficulty by putting some chains in the middle. I was just adding a couple more in here to kind of give it that ambience uh, kind of feeling. When you come in here, you not only have to avoid the change while um, kind of attacking the entities that spawn on the side here, but you'll have to... Um, get to the chest and then get out as well is avoid this particular trap so uh, one thing that I was thinking about was this will actually benefit the player if they were doing it on that side so maybe not have it there and just kind of like do that because if they try to hop over then they're gonna get um, basically in the way there so like going that way is fine but as soon as they hop over that then they have to have kind of they might trigger it just as soon as they touch the block, so you don't actually have to be fully on it, uh, just enough to trigger it. So um, this lamp will be in the way, obviously, which is good. Uh, on this side, though, uh, we're going to just remove these, remove that, and remove those. Perfect. All right, so now when they get through, it'll be easy to get in, but it'll be harder to get out. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is start going down here, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the spawner. Now, um, we need to actually get the spawner and stuff from our section here. So we have, let's see here, we have the spawner, we have the spawner egg, and... Um, We'll put some cobwebs down and yeah, we'll see what we can come up with. Once we get the idea where the spawner is going to go, we'll kind of figure out where the rest is going to be set up. So we have all those bats on the corners there. That's funny. All right. So I was thinking about uh, having a spawner right here. We can change the spawner using the skeleton egg or spawner eggs for the entities and it will actually update the spawner itself. Now this can't really be done um, without the spawn, rate, spawn eggs. So in creative it we can actually set the spawner but uh, in survival it's impossible unless you obtain a spawn egg of some sort. So now that we got the spawner set up um, it's not going to actually start generating at the moment because I have the I believe the difficulty on peaceful so all the hostile mobs aren't going to be spawning. However, I want to put some stuff in here as well. So uh, I'm not sure if we have some cobwebs yet. We will in a second. Yeah, we don't have any cobwebs, so I'll put a cobweb there. Uh, kindly remove these bats, put one there. And then we can put some shackles over. Let's see one here, put one there. That'll kind of decorate it a little bit. And then we could do something in that corner. Uh, I'm not sure. Could do something like that for a bottom cobweb. And that's not being utilized so much. So we could do that as well. And let's see here. Uh, we can actually put a bookcase or something there. I think that would look really good. So let's go back out here. We'll kind of fly in here, grab some bookcases, and then we'll go back over here. Try not to set off our traps. And then I just want to kind of do like a corner bookcase or something, just so it's a little bit interesting. Uh, we could do something like that, or like that maybe, I don't know. Uh, that would work. Um, that looks pretty interesting. And then what we could do is we could put like a cobweb there. 
and uh, for the other side, don't know about the other side too much. Uh, maybe put some more bones just so it's um, a little bit more interesting. So we could do that. We'll move the bones over there and maybe put one right there. And then what we could do is we got the shackles, we got those. Uh, the lighting, the lighting, we need to figure out the lighting. There's too many of these lamps in here. So I'm going to put one lamp here and then we can figure out what we're going to do for the other parts. Now, um, another thing that we can do is actually build into the walls as well. So because the structure is not right on the edge anymore, we don't need to worry about the walls being outside of the building area. So what we could do, because it's in the center part here, uh, on the sides here, over here and over here, or even at the back there, we can actually build out of the uh, structure um, actual cube area. So let's break some of the walls just a little bit. Um, we have the lighting over there, so we can actually build, we can remove that. So it gets really dark here, right? So we have the spawner, uh, we got some lighting there, which is great. Uh, we can kind of build into the wall. Uh, we'll remove that. And we'll kind of build into the wall over here just to kind of make a little section that we can basically um, put a candle or something there. And we might even go about like that. Just so it's like um, kind of like a window, I guess. Like a decorative window. Uh, this gives it some detail as well. And then on the back side, what we can do is we can just kind of blend that in just a little bit so it looks a little bit better. So we can go and just place one here, place some cobblestone there, uh, bring that up, and making sure that we don't misplace any of the parts so the structure voids don't get messed up. So we'll um, place a cobble st or stone bricks there. See if we were were to place one right while we're inside this particular block, then it would replace that block. So we have to kind of make sure that we're not in it when we place it, right? So that should work fine. And uh, when it generates, it won't look a little bit odd with just a random stone brick. All right, so let's go grab our candles. Uh, we have some candles over here that we can grab. I know this is in 1.16.5, so I had to make my own candles, but um, they should decorate it just a little bit nicely. I didn't add the particles like in the other one because it would have been a little bit too hard to do with the rotations and stuff. It's mostly just for looks. Uh, as you can see, they kind of rotate with the player, so it would have been a lot more script in order to do it. But if you're going to invest the time in actually making candles, then you might want to play around with the single particle effects and stuff like that to make it actually look really good. But uh, yeah, so that looks good. We have some candles there. Uh, now, some things like paintings and stuff like that won't actually go and spawn with the structure properly. Uh, things like, um, I think armor stands have issues, paintings, item frames. Uh, those things are kind of like tile entities and some tile entities don't really like to be copied with the structure blocks and stuff. So. Um, we could kind of create our own paintings if we really wanted to by creating a pane of like a block and then having it so it's on the back face there. But I'm not going to be doing that because that would take a lot of time to do. And then I have to find an image in order to do it. But uh, we could do something a little bit different just to change the texture a little bit. Uh, we could go with, um, let's see here, there's a whole bunch of blocks that there we can actually take. There's some dead coral that would go well with the actual environment. Uh, we could actually use some gray concrete powder. Now because the concrete powder, is, there's a block underneath it, it would kind of give that texture underneath at the back. That would look good. So we could do something like that. We could even do a different color really wanted to. Um, purple, because our candles are purple, we might want purple. So that might be too much purple though. So let's try something blue. 
Uh, we could do co blue concrete powder. Uh, let's see, blue concrete, blue concrete powder. Or we could do a combination of both, which uh, is another option. But I kind of like the blue. The blue looks good. And um, let's see the blue and gray. The blue and gray. We could do something like blue and gray, or we could just do blue. Or we could do gray and blue. Kind of like that. Or we could do a couple different shades of gray as well. That's an option. Um, we have that lighter gray that we have. We could do something like that. Whoop. So we'll remove that and chest that out. Actually, I think I like it with the uh, dark gray at the most. It just kind of brings out the candles a little bit more, so we'll go with that color. And it kind of gives that ambience as well. So it looks good with the texturing behind it. That will really um, look good in the long run. Now for this, um, I was thinking what we could do is we had something very similar to that. Now that would probably do good. Uh, I'm going to, to just remove these two parts, place that like that. So we have a very similar section like that. And then I'm going to actually remove some of these parts here. So we have kind of like a window type thing going on here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very similar to that. But um, instead of basically... Um, Oh, I just replaced a structure void. Let's fix that really quickly. We'll just place that back. Take that one, place that one back. And then we will try to get in here. So like that. So what we'll do is we'll fill this back part in with... Um, so we don't need this here, do we? Uh, that concrete powder just to kind of make it fit in with the, the rest of the build. So I'm actually going to place one right here, like that, and then I'll fill in this top part like that. And then on this side, I'll do the exact same. So I need one right here, one right there, one right there, and then we need our stone bricks. And then we need our stone bricks. Whoop, darn it, that's gonna be a little bit, yeah, so it was that one right there. Okay, so that part's fixed. And then I'm, after I'm finished uh, this episode, I'll just make sure that all the structure voids are properly set up because I've misplaced a few times. So it's important to make sure that. All right, so now that we got that part done, we can go back inside and then we'll grab some more of that concrete powder and then we'll just kind of fill this in like that and that will kind of give it the essence that there's like a wall behind here so that looks good and uh, we can put some stuff up there as well so um not sure what we'll put up there just yet but we'll figure something out so we have all those props these uh we got um some of the flower pots as well we can add some of the mushrooms in there and uh, let's see here mushrooms yeah we'll, we'll add some mushrooms to the um build okay so we can have like a little shelf thing for them so we can put a few like that and flower pots oddly enough are perfectly fine when you um use structures so you don't have to worry about them too much all right, so now that we got kind of like the base idea of the actual build, like the all the furniture in place, what we can start doing is kind of filling in with the chains and stuff like that. So it um, looks like the rest of it. So we can go back out here and uh, we need to grab some chains and we'll grab some of those and some of that. And uh, yeah, that should be good. All right, so let's go back in here and we'll go downstairs. Now to kind of figure out where we're going to be putting on this stuff, this will be the harder part. We could probably put a vine over here, or maybe a few vines over here, maybe one, two, 
three, something like that. And then we can do four up there. And then we can kind of increase the other one over here, maybe do a two spot. I don't know if those grow or not, so don't want to use too many of them. Uh, we can do kind of like that as well. All right, so that kind of decorates the corners and stuff when you come down here, that look good. Uh, what we can do now is kind of set up some chains. They are in the way. So there we go. Seems like all the bats have um, <laughs> accumulated down here. So, whoop. all right, we'll fix that up. Fix uh, part of these up here. And then I think what we'll do is we'll put one kind of like that. And then we'll have some hanging down. So uh, ones that don't actually obstruct, but if you jump, then they'll kind of obstruct a little bit uh, for the player. But it also gives some decoration as well, right? So we could do something like that, maybe another one over here. Yeah, so that looks good. And then we have that redstone dust that we can basically place down to make it look like some blood and stuff like that were left behind from things that the spawner has killed. So that looks really good. Um, now, obviously if we have a lot more custom blocks, we could do a lot more with this particular build, but uh, due to time restrictions and stuff like that, I didn't have too much time to do all that. But, uh, you know, if you wanted to develop it yourself and create a whole bunch of really complex structures, you could do far more than just use the mostly the vanilla blocks and stuff. You could create your own vibe entirely and kind of make it a lot more dark and gloomy and stuff like that based on the textures that you create. So um, this is just kind of like a example to hopefully inspire you guys on how to make some dungeons and stuff. So next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into these rooms and we're going to actually create a loot table for these. And we'll have some different types of loot that we can basically get for the um, chests in these particular rooms. And then we're also going to create the structure, get that all done. And then we're going to bring into M Crater, and then I'm going to show you the part that uh, how I'm going to actually get it to generate, which uh, I want to basically get this part right here, uh, have some sort of cave entrance, so when you actually go down it, it will be able to be accessible from some sort of cave or ravine or something like that, some air blocks in this particular area. Now, I'm not sure how to do that just yet, but I will be testing it in um, beforehand, so I kinda know how to do it for the tutorial next week, I believe. Yeah, next week will be the last video for this project. So, outside of that, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, peace out.